Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again, going to be doing a session gameplay series here on the Busy Gamer Dad channel where we take a look at a game over the course of three episodes, about 20 to 30 minutes long each, to give you guys a, a more in-depth flavor for a game. I mean, hopefully it fits your busy lifestyle, hopefully it fits your uh, uh, identity as a gamer, we'll simply say. Uh, this week we're doing something special. I want to give a shout out to Jan and to Mike for giving me a Steam key for Bernard. I actually, they're super kind enough. They saw my footage during the Steam Next Fest and they asked me if I wanted to um, record for the game and I said absolutely I would love to. My son loved watching this game. I actually um, played the demo with him quite a bit and he was asking about the bear game um, when he saw the email and I told him about it and he was very excited. So I don't think I'm going to do any recording with him. Unfortunately it's the end of summer and there's a lot of things going on and I just don't have the time window to uh, sit down and play with him but I definitely will be playing with uh, him off screen on this game. So Bernard if you didn't see our first video I do recommend you go back and take a look at it but I'll give you the overview. You. Bernard, you collect cards. It's like a almost like a platforming card combat uh, uh, environmental hazardish kind of game, and it's fun. All those weird components work really well together. Um, so you roam the land doing platforming, picking up cards, and then you get into fights that are turn-based kind of fights that you have, you know, AP system essentially, and you have these cards that allow you to change the flow of combat, you know, using different types of arrows or uh, traps or things like that. And I'm going to play the first hour and a half with you guys for our, our three episodes, so they'll be sequential. I won't try and jump ahead because I do want you guys to play this game on your own because I do recommend this game. I don't know how long it might take someone to finish this game start to finish. I would say probably in the ballpark of about 15 to 20 hours. Uh, that's just my guess. That could be completely wrong. So don't hold me accountable if it's only like 10 <laughs> or don't say, well, it was 30. Uh, I mean, I, I hope you get as much bang for your buck from anything that you buy. Here's Bernard. Yep, that's me, whose father is no one else but Grafer the Great, a hero known far and wide. Hey, this was story was supposed to be about me. Whom brave Bernard loved from the bottom of his heart and supported from the safety of his cozy cavern set in the very heart of the old forest. But for the last several days, the forest has become stranger and stranger. When a strange buzzing sound woke up our furry hero, and his father was nowhere to be found, Bernard decided to go and check it. My power nap ruined I just mood, buddy. That's just a, that's just a life, you know. So I am playing with controller. There is um, controller support and uh, keyboard support. Uh, just so you know, Bernard thought he found something. Hey, I found a pile of useless stones. Did we? Did we find a pile of useless stones? We did find a pile of useless stones. Can I shoot my stones at this? Nothing. Looking over there. Let's see, is there anything up here? Nope, nothing up there. Nothing? Okay, fair enough. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Useless stones. That's all they were. But hey, we found them. Jump. Yep, so this is the platforming element. This is on the rails tutorial. The day was perfect as Bernard rushed to check up on uh, what stirred the forest peace. Hmm. Oh no. Do I want it? I'm, I'm gonna do it. Ah! Damn, that hurts. Yep, fall damage exists. But gravity still exists. It does. Every chance that I get, I try and make sure that gravity exists. So we got some experience, and then did that give us a heal? He did not. Get, it did not give us a, a heal. I do love the fact, and I know that there's some upgrades that we can get that uh, extend the dotted line. Um, I do love the um, the dotted line. I do think that's really nice. So we have, yeah, R to shoot, hold down. I feel like, yeah, see, so, oh, no. Okay, so yeah, we can do that and then RT to, okay, cool. And then we can shoot the crates to help move them to different locations for different reasons. Uh, along with everything else. Oh, that just got yeeted into oblivion. And there's our our owl buddy. See some crazy dwarves? <laughs> You'll see some crazy dwarves up ahead. All right, fair enough. Dwarves are pretty crazy. Oh, I gotta hit the, the switch. Okay, so let's see here. So if I'm aiming, it's wanting me to drop the shots. No, okay, so... Let's see here, so it's asking me to shoot and then arc it down. 
and then pull back. Oh, okay, I see what it's doing. It's it's all about the physics of it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's about it. Nope, not even close. Let's move a little closer. There. Ooh, um, okay. A little bit more. Perfect. First try. Which idiot closed the gate? I'll show him. Peaceful as flowers on a lake, Bernard continues his journey and finds an answer to this and many other life's questions. Right, that's blocking the other time. Uh, so we can point our arrow that way. Oh, and okay, this allows us to pivot in place. Cool, that's actually kind of important. Okay, and then do I get that one? No. Nope. I'm glad I don't. I'm glad I don't run out of arrows, because I am a terrible shot right now. Hey, they did pretty well there. Nice. And then we're going into the cozy cave that we woke up from? Question mark? I have questions. Uh, X. Oh, great for his letter. Yay, X. Son, I had to close the gates so the enemies wouldn't get through. The forest is in grave danger. Your help is required. Meet me at the well. Hurry, Grafer. He has no stop for second breakfast. But why? Ah, uh, why? It's the second grave danger this week. Whatever, he won't be there anyways. Oh, well, fair enough, I suppose. Um... Can I, do I, can I jump up there? I can't jump up there yet. All right, Bernard looked around carefully, expecting danger to be around the corner. Nope, I didn't, but I may now. Oh, got some monies. Oh, so the narrator's like a voice in his head, but also like told him that there was gonna be danger. Gotcha. Uh, to look, oh, so we can, how do we? Is it asking me to to look, hold the L trigger, and move? Oh, uh, okay, so this is what I was doing before. This is kind of like if you've ever played, and I know I'm dating myself, but that's fine. Um, Super Mario, you can screen oops, uh, slide it over just to see what's over the next area, so you can kind of prepare for your tactics. And that's going to be a pretty integral part for the game, um, because if you're not careful, you can get into combat that you'll uh, wish you had a better setup for. Um, I've seen that in a lot of the... the uh, videos and some things that we did in the demo. Um, positioning uh, and preparation are going to be really uh, integral for uh, placing the battles in your um, best, we'll say, position and location, because um, you have a certain amount of cars, but you also, cards, but you also want to make sure that you are um, in the right place. So, like I said, there's an AP, now we're in combat and we have an AP system. It looks like our turn order is on the left hand side, which is fine. We can stand here. It's just the armor. We don't have to worry about that. So, I'm actually just gonna. It's telling me that it wants me to move. In combat, turn based combat, yes. Okay, so we can draw our bow. And I'm just gonna draw my bow and I'm actually just gonna shoot. And then I'm just gonna shoot again and we win. Nice. Awesome. Almost 30 seconds. I guess there's gonna be a min maxing ish kind of reward for this. What are these coins for? And that our little fur, a little bear was about to discover. Oh good, a shop, I hope. A shop would be nice. By the way, did you guys know um, what librarians uh, use for fishing? Bookworms. Haha, <laughs> there you go. All right, better arrow. Um, so this is the next mechanic. So we had the platforming mechanic, then we had the shooting mechanic, and now we have the card mechanic. This is a card, you can collect it to your deck or grind it to make some coins. Each card can only be used once. So I'm gonna pick this up. Yeah, classic arrow deals increased damage. You can only have up to eight of them. You can see that in the top uh, right hand corner of the map. Enemy's armor, try simple arrow to take off the shield first. Don't waste more power full attacks too early. So we're not in combat now, but now we are in combat. Again, this goes into what I was talking about before where you have um, an opportunity to position yourself to do the max amount of damage you possibly can and um, You want to do that. You absolutely want to do that. Uh, and it looks like we have to end our turn And then just finish this guy up Well, this armor up anyways And then we'll pick these up some cards deal elemental damage, you know fire water lightning or wind You can create special effects by following one up one attack up with another Yep, and that, that was something we saw in the um, demo as well. If you did like the uh, water arrow and the lightning arrow, it would shock them. If you did the wind arrow and the fire arrow, I believe it did bonus damage. Um, a couple other um, synergies were there. Um, yep, so water may get wet and target gets electrified. So try hitting the dummy with lightning, then a fire arrow to see what happens. So we have our 
Let's open up with a lightning arrow. There, and now you'll notice that it put us in combat and it did consume um, action points. Something to keep in mind for when you um, play uh, and when you're doing your own things. And it does give a running list, as you can see, for the, the synergies, you know, combining the cards. What do they do? Two fire arrows do what? Wind and a fire arrow does what? Uh, no, looks like we can do that and then we'll hit this. So light orb. So did bonus damage, essentially, is what it comes down to. Uh, and then I think that's all we can do. So I'm actually going to... Oh, wait, no. Light orb was extra energy. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We could have had an extra one. Winning is bo Winning bores me. Well, sorry, but that happens to the best of us, I guess? Question mark. What's in our arsenal now? So that was an armor thief. If the enemy has armor points, we can steal them. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty helpful. Uh, Bernard's letter. Help yourself. Leave the coins and I'll collect them later. Watch, oh, and watch out for the silly gnomes. They're acting crazy lately. Ta-ta. Bernadette. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. Weird. She shot. All right, well, let's, um, I don't think we need anything. She's got, oh, she does have a shield card. We've got four cards. We've got berries to heal five HP. Um, how much money do we have? We have about a hundred bucks. Kill or heal. Kills an enemy or adds half of its max HP with he oh that's actually kind of kind of huge I'm only five coins away from that or a bomb Midas kills an enemy and spawns gold ignores armor we can sell some cards too armor thief wow these actually sell for quite a bit I don't want to sell anything just yet uh, so I gotta get this switch oh oh shoot that's not a ladder there all right, I could have ground that one up for something, but we did get some heals. Oh, darn it. Uh, can I get that from down here? Let's see, I don't think I'll be able to. Well, I might be able to. Nice. Good job, me. Uh, I'm gonna potentially come back for that armor thief card, or that armor card. Um, oh, actually, no, I should. Um, don't be afraid to use cards. I'm just gonna say that right now. Just don't. Just don't be afraid to use cards. You get a, you get a good amount of them, kill or heal so that's what i want um works only when enemy has no armor so i'm gonna do this one kill an enemy or add half of its max health so if i don't kill an enemy what happens this is kind of i, I want to see what that does i want to see what that does for us um that seems like a really cool card i like that kind of mechanic all right now so there's a weird mushroom guy running around up here that kind of spooks me uh, nah. what are we doing here okay so let me see if i can get some shots on him Right, he's gonna come back and then I'm gonna miss. I right, hit him. Nice bonus damage. And we. Alright, so my turn. I'm gonna do wind and water arrow. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's just let's get these synergies going. Um water arrow. And then I'm gonna move back a space. There. And then I'm gonna turn and hold my dance there. I want to know if I could have positioned myself differently. Not that it ultimately matters, but I am going to move there once, and then I'm going to do the wind arrow. And he's got frost. Okay, good to know. Um, and then I'm just going to hit him for two. And I guess I'll just hold my ground. And then he's not moving. <laughs> Oh, because I took his action away. Oh, GG, well played. Nice. I like that. Uh, hiding. Hides from enemy Bernard Templar. Hides. Um, mm, I guess I'll try it. I'm going to try. I'm going to eat the berries. Now watch him. Oh, what is this? What? What is this? Oh. Okay, fair enough. That's a little, little teleporter thingy. All right, cool. Let's, um... Let's take this apple out. First try. Uh, hang on, I want to jump over this thing. I want to see if there's anything over here. Hidden behind. Nobody said ow, so I think we're okay. Alright, let's keep on going. Trying to find our dad, Grafer. Whoop! I want to see. Now, this will be a test of my, of my abilities. Now, I want to see if I can... Our kids. I missed. Bummer. 
Oh, bummer. Um, well, doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so that was a horrible shot, and I'm gonna... Can I back up? Is it gonna let me drop down? It is gonna let me drop down. And I'm gonna fall back. He's gonna try and close the gap. He is able to close the gap. Good to know. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna take a step back, draw my bow, and just let him have it. One, and two. And then that's the end of my turn. I used all my APs. We're gonna take a hit here. That's fine. Two hits. Okay, good to know. Uh, better arrow does three damage. We can finish this fight now, and I think I need to do that. Because he's gonna finish us if we don't. Dodge. Okay. Um collect or use. I'm gonna I'm gonna collect it. And then I'm actually gonna go down here, not uh, not happy with where my health is at right now. Actually, let's see. I think we might get a berry card up here. I hope we get a berry card. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, there's, there's these guys right here. Let's see. There, and... There, and I need to finish this jump. And jump! Made it. Weakness. Okay. So it's given us a fair amount of cards right out of the, right out of the gate, which I'm appreciative of. Gives us a chance to, to really see what the game has to offer. Puddle. Leaves a puddle on the ground. Anybody who steps in it... Anyone who steps into it stops and loses their turn. Okay. Nobody likes wet shoes. Uh, okay, so now here I see the little save icon, so that's gonna be like a little, little fight over there. And I wanna actually go back and I'm gonna sell a card or two and probably buy a berry. Just because I know that I am a terrible shot, and that I need all the help I can get. Right here. Yeah, okay, so let's see here. What can we sell? Armor Thief might be good. Dodge. 30% chance to dodge something. That's really not a lot. Effect may end sooner if Bernard shoots or comes too close to an enemy. So this is automatic. I'm going to do the dodge. I'm going to sell the dodge, and then... I buy the berries I can buy the berries buy the berries now and then I'll actually use said berries right now there and then think off we go and that's gonna be murder on your legs getting launched up like that to get up there but hey you know what you wouldn't be a hero if you can't do the superhero landing right right Bernard we're, we're heroes right all right, let's see here now. Are we automatically gonna get into combat? Oh, no. Move the cursor over an enemy to see these stats. Oh, okay. Accuracy is a 61, max range. Okay, so I can back up. He would have to come down to me. So if I back up to here, is that, is that it? I think that's where we're at. Darn it. I'm actually going to back up one more step. And then he's going to fall down. Oh, two damage. All right, well. Let's see here. This is going to be testing my archery skill. So I moved in twice. And then I'm going to go into hiding. And then I'm going to end my turn. And then, where does it show my status? It doesn't still show my status, which is a little weird. Um, okay, so it let me hide for two turns. Okay. think right about there. Oh, so close. Just undershot it. Yep, we're going to lose this fight. I want to see what happens when we lose. So this will be a good indicator to know what we happens when we lose. So we got his armor off. We're going to shoot again. And we're going to end our turn. Let's see what happens. 
the last checkpoint. Okay, cool. Darkness claims Bernard. Oh, no! Uh, last checkpoint? All right, the last checkpoint is there. We're at three health. Group weakness. Weakens all attacks. Puddles. Dodge. Armor thief. Kill. Let's try and go into this with what we've got and get better at using our bow. Because this is what the name of the game is. If we're not getting better with using our bow, we're not doing what we need to do. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to go into hiding. And then I'm going to get closer. Uh, I'm actually going to get right here. No, end my turn. Is he going to drop down? He's not. I'm going to try for the tactic of getting in close. And then... Armor thief it up. Stole his armor. Now I'm going to end my turn. So he only hit us for that. Good. Actually, let me see here. I don't know how much this does. Does it do four? Or does it do my normal attack of two? We'll find out. Oh my goodness. Hey, and our little blue owl buddy. Giving me the money back. Yay! Hooray! I forget his name. Oh, I forget his name. I can't remember the guy's name, the, the owl's name, but he comes and helps us. All right, let's let's see your game save progress. Okay, cool, awesome. So I'm gonna save it right there. And I think that's where I'm gonna call the episode, actually. So this is Bernard. Um, Jan and Mike were kind enough to send over uh, the Steam key for me to play this. This just recently came out. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it, see if it's something that you're interested in. There's a lot of elements to it. I, I would call them three um, core elements. You have the platforming element, you have the um, uh, uh, archery element when you're out in the world trying to hit all the traps and all the other things like that for world searching, almost kind of like a vet Metroidvania, but I wouldn't even call it that. I mean, there are things that you can interact with from a physics stance, like dropping logs and certain other things to affect the terrain. And then there's a turn-based combat system with cards. So that's kind of to distill it down to three major aspects. That's what I see this game as. And I'm not trying to, you know, trivialize what the game is. I think this game is actually a lot of fun. So I will have a link for you guys in the YouTube description should you want to pick this up for yourselves if you are interested in it. Um, also, while you're down there, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by. And we're going to do our next two episodes picking up right where we left off. Later.